Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Any Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some random figures, plus we're finally going to do all that My Little Pony stuff that I got in this video. So, we got some randoms and a whole set of My Little Pony figures and plushes we're going to be reviewing in one video. Once it gets to a minute, we're going to go through the random stuff first. And then go straight to the MLP, which I'll have to clear out the, uh, you know, the backdrop from here. But for now, we're going to look at the f randoms. First, we're going to lower the tripod down a little bit, because we're going to start with that big shark. And yes, I got another shark. The reason I bought this was because I'm building up a Jaws-style shark collection. And whenever I pick up these sharks, they just remind me of Jaws. Now, that's all he does. He moves around. Head moves around, as you can see. His flippers flip down so he can be like, whoosh, take a bite out of you, huh? <laughs> Something like this would easily take a bite out of my dog, Teddy, and or eat him whole. And he'd be like, I'm too young to be eaten. Make a run for it. <laughs> yeah, my dog Teddy wouldn't last a minute against a shark. He'd be on the menu. But here's my first shark next to this one. This one does not move. And man, he is terrifying looking. And now we got another shark for comparison. This one also has some gimmicks. This one, you press its fin and it opens its mouth. Now that's fearsome. And do I highly recommend these to any person who likes Jaws, the movie Jaws? Yes. If you pick these up just to have a whole lot of sharks in your monster collection, these things are worth the money. And I'd say they'd make a monster shelf just pop out with monsters. And that's all there is to say for the sharks, because that was going to be a quick video, and I knew that. Because... Sharks don't have much articulation compared to other figures. Now we can move in and look at our random stuff. First, we got our first ever 3D printed action figure. Looks like her, her arm popped off. Sorry about that, YouTube land. And this is everybody's favorite robot from the, one of the most classic, iconic cartoons. It's Roxy from the Jetsons. And yes, uh, she's almost done being painted. I need some white paint for her maid outfit. But other than that, she is 100% completely painted. Except for some white paint. That's going to be a trick to get a hold of that. Articulation. You got some hinges. Like monocles. So movement is very good. But her arms pop out, like, real easily, so I gotta be careful with it. And her arm just popped out again. Oh, Roxy, can't you hold your arm in place, old, you crazy robot? Come on. But, yeah. Arms are really well articulated. If I do say so myself, she'll be going straight on my robot shelf if I can get her to cooperate. Come on, Roxy. Come on. There we go. Definitely look forward to putting her on my shelf. Her leg can kick back that far. My copy's really loose, so I gotta handle it with care. Has some breakage already, so I gotta handle this with moving it with care. Otherwise, a nice looking version of her. Now we're done with our first 3D printed action figure. Next, we got some freebies to look at as well. First on the list, we got this pork bun. Somebody was throwing this out, and I got this for free, and I'm reviewing it. 
It's one of those squishy toys that you squish it. Oh, it looks like it's popping some popping. So it's a stress toy. But otherwise, a good looking toy. But it's so cute, that's why I picked it up. You can never go wrong with freebies. Next on the list, we got these little plastic toys. I have a doghouse here as well. Here we go. Here's the other freebie part. This little doghouse, you open it up and you can put the different animals inside. You can put a doghouse, put a dog in the doghouse. Another dog in the doghouse. Kitty cat in the doghouse. And the bone, which is awesome. So yeah, definitely love some freebie toys. I don't know what line these are from because they have no indicators telling you what line it's from. And they look like Easter egg designs almost. If any of you know, then leave me a comment because... I got these for free, and I didn't pay anything for them. So not bad for freebie toys, if I have to say so myself. They have no articulation. So, yeah, not any articulation. We got one more freebie to look at. We got this little doggy on two legs and overalls. Looking so cute. Aww. Articulation is pretty simple. Otherwise, a good-looking, cute little figure. I'm definitely keeping this. Probably going to go on my random shelf. It's just so adorable. Next, we got this little dinosaur from my last Goodwill Outlet toy hunt. And he does not move. He's just a... Uh, his head does this. Other than that, no movement. Got another figure from the last Goodwill Outlet toy haul. It's everybody's favorite T-Rex. It's Rex from Toy Story. Definitely going to add him to my Toy Story collection. Even though he doesn't have any articulation. Which is a shame, really. Next, we got another one of these Lilo and Stitch plushes. I found this at my workplace. Someone threw this out. And I got this for free, so can't beat that. It's Stitch. Never go wrong with Stitch. Speaking of, we got this little dragon thing. It's squishy. Doesn't open. Doesn't uh, do anything much. But we can open it. When I get a new toy and I don't open it, I definitely want to open it the moment I get the chance. But I waited... To open this. Ooh. Let's see what this toy can do. Given we got this from another trip from Dollar Tree. And that's what he does. He does that. Doesn't do much, but he's a cute little dragon. Why not? I picked up a dragon. But yeah, I definitely love some dragon toys, for sure. Okay. Next on the list, we got some more Goody Will stuff. We got this little dog character. He's probably from a kid's line. I forget what he's from. But he was just so cute. And I like picking up dog figures. Because I'm a dog figure lover. Because I'm a dog lover. Next, we got this martial arts guy. Hua! Fierce Fear My Karate Black Belt. Hiya! Pow, pow, pow. And yeah, he's a little karate dude. I don't even know what he's from, but he's so cool looking. So I picked up a martial arts figure. I've never picked up one of these before, and it just looks so cool. We got this Bend and Flex Bunny Rabbit. What's up, Doc? And yeah, he's a bunny rabbit, so I'm doing a Bugs Bunny rabbit impression. Even though that's not Bugs Bunny. Next, we got this little wind-up toy. I love wind-up toys. I started picking up these a lot.
and you wind them up and let them go. Look at that little wind-up go. So much fun. I love finding wind-up toys. They're so fun and cool. Which I am picking up wind-up toys because they're so much fun. Oh, it looks like he ran out of juice. The wind-up superhero ran out of juice. And we're going to call her Lightning Girl. Why not? We got a pullback. I love some pullback toys, too. Anything that has a gimmick, I pick it up. Okay. Got this astronaut. Like, two... two into space and for the glory of mankind I will fly over the moon whoosh and yeah I couldn't help the spaceman impression we got this little gingerbread figure I got this at camp so free for me so can't beat that it was in a prize drawing next on the list we got this snow monster from Frozen the only reason I picked it up, I love some monsters. Yeah. Monsters are awesome. Next, we got this Bend and Flex construction worker. It's like, hello, world. Let's get the job done right. And yeah, she's got kicks. Rick, Dan, 11, something or another. I barely know this line, so it is a pretty cool figure. But I love some action figures of any kind. Especially construction workers, included Lee. Next on the list, we got this little... Could be Shopkins, it could be something else. If you know, then leave me a comment. I found that at the thrift store, so... Now we're going to do our MLP playset, which means we got to... Put the backdrop to the side, put this play set up, and raise the trap on, because this is going to be one epic MLP display, and we're going to show off all our MLP figures. You could put good old Rainbow Dash up there, Twilight, I think that's Twilight. Another Rainbow Dash plush. Put it up there if I can get her to stand. <laughs> Let's see how many MLPs will this castle hold. And why not Applejack. And we do got some vintage MLPs as well. See if I can get them all here. Ooh. <laughs> Quite a bit, bit of figures. Uh, we put all our MLPs in this playset so far. We'll put little Miss Pinkie Pie on the uh, swing if we can get it to work. Come on. Come on. It's hard to do this on camera. Connect her to the swing. I have to connect her to the swing. And there we got... Rainbow Dash. Another Rainbow Dash. And yet another Rainbow Dash. I'll tell you, I keep finding these things at the thrift store. That's why I'm going to pick these up just to put them in my MLP. We got this one. I don't know its name. You say it's Twilight's Daughter. It's going to be Pacific. And there's the play set so far. Another Twilight. Another Pinkie Pie. No, it's just a little sticky thing. Another Rainbow Dash. But yeah, that's all our figures. And here are our 1980s MLPs. We got, looks like to be Pinkie Pie. Another one I don't know. Looks like to be Pinkie Pie. 
looks to be like in the colors of Twilight, almost. And this one, I don't know the name of. But now we're going to pull out the, put them on a little ride part of this playset, if I can get them to work. Come on. See how many of these can I actually squeeze in there? Can I get them all to work? There's one. There's the other. Get it to start. My arms have to get in this video. And there's the other one. And this is what the MLP playset looks like with all these MLPs I have collected at the thrift store. And man, this is an awesome playset with some awesome figures. And I just downright enjoy it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to collect the more of these just to put at this playset. When it goes on the shelf, I got this playset for three. For free. I didn't pay a dime for it. And I got all these MLPs from the thrift store. So definitely love MLP now. I know many of you thinking, oh, that's a brony type. But yeah. Since I've been picking these up at the thrift store, I had to do a video on these. And do I highly recommend these? If you have a playset for these, definitely pick all these up for this playset to make the playset pop on your shelf. I don't regret not picking any of these up. They'll look awesome on my toy shelf, and I'm just glad to have it. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.